right, good morning. So thank you for being here this morning. I'm Sheriff Mike Williams, and with me this morning is Special Agent in Charge of the FBI's Jacksonville Division, um, Michelle Clem. We have uh, lots of conversations here in Northeast Florida. And in our discussions about the May 22nd incident involving Burnell Bing and Officer Tyler Landerville, uh, we have determined that the best course of action for our community is that the FBI will review this incident and provide results to the Department of Justice. And this will be done to ensure that all processes required by law are followed. So with that, I'm going to ask uh, Special Agent in Charge Clint to come forward and, and uh, say a few words. Bill. To address concerns raised in the community, I want to assure you that as the lead federal agency for rights and code of law violations, I've been in regular contact with Sheriff Williams regarding this matter. Following the United States Attorney's Office, and the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division will conduct an investigation. The FBI is prepared to investigate, and we will submit. Color of law violations are defined as official actions taken by persons acting under the authority of local, state, federal, or tribal laws to willfully deprive someone of the right or privilege protected by the Constitution. Under the provisions, we have to prove the official was acting under the color of law or in their official capacity as a law enforcement officer, willfully deprived the victim of their civil liberties, so the officer knew what they were doing was wrong and did it anyway, and acted intentionally and unreasonably. Because this is an ongoing matter, please understand that I cannot provide any additional comment. Thank you, Sheriff Williams, for the opportunity to explain this process to you today and for the open line of communication that we share. So thank you, Michelle. You know, it's important to know that the FBI typically does not uh, announce these type of reviews, although they're not in common. Uh, but, but I want to thank uh, Michelle for being here with me today uh, to, uh, to announce this as we, as we do this in an effort really to bring some confidence to the community about Listen, I'm confident in our process, and I'm confident that our investigation and administrative review will be done in complete accordance with the law. So my job is to bring forth to this community a finding that is 100% fact-based and the results of evidence in this case. So I am, I am deploying, again, this additional measure uh, to this community, and that they can be assured that the case and the outcome will be exactly that. It will be fact-based and evidentiary, and that the rights of all parties involved protected in the process. So thank you for being here today, Michelle. I appreciate it, uh, and I respect the fact that normally we don't do these kind of, kind of stand-ups in a, in a review like this, um, but, uh, but thank you again for being here. And, uh, but I do feel the need, although again, uh, Special Agent Clint can't take any questions, I do feel the need to, to answer a few questions today, so now I can do that. Sheriff Williams, Chris Perez yes. with Channel 4. Uh, you said that ordinarily you don't do these kinds of things. Is there something about this case that makes it different that you are taking it to that next level with the FBI? Shootings, this case in particular, uh, and a lot of, a, a lot of uh, um, concern about that. So I think with that, uh, the answer to that being an independent review of, of, again, our investigation is appropriate in this case. Dan Scanlon, Times Union. How does this affect or does it affect at all the state attorney's office? and Sheriff's Office criminal and administrative review of this case? It does not. Obviously, as, as, uh, as Michelle mentioned, if they see anything that they believe that they can act on federally, then they will. So this is going to be a review of what JSO and State Attorney's Absolutely. Office does? Correct. That's correct. So JS, Lindsay Gardner, News 4 Jack. So JSO will still be investigating the shooting? Review in, in as, we, as we complete the investigation, they will review the steps, review the investigation, and again, all of the aspects of their investigation that she mentioned. When was the last time you called the FBI in to do something like this? So I have never. I've only been here a few well, months. Conversations, and obviously uh, the FBI office here has been monitoring the situation. Uh, and really the decision was made yesterday. So uh, we had a conversation yesterday morning, and, and the timing was right for that to happen. And really the conversation was about this. So that typically, again, these were important enough for the community to know that this was happening. So we had a lot of conversation yesterday about the actually. Last question, please. Sure, please. the process. Well, so we have, obviously, we did the stand-up press conference the day of the event. We did one the following day. Um, Officer Landerville has delivered some evidence, interviewing witnesses, all of the, the typical things you see in any investigation. Uh, that's where we are right now. So, again, we won't comment on the details of any of that at this point. All of that will be, uh, you know, 
representative of the state attorney. Jenna, go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Chair Williams, what can you tell us about that statement? We know that Officer Landervelt has given a statement to police. Uh, nothing testimony at this point. So uh, that's what gives validity to the testimony. So the truth is the truth, and we don't need people. Uh, so what we need to do is obviously protect that investigation, protect all the statements in the case, including the officers, and then let the investigation run its course. And then at the end of that, we'll be able to... The FBI investigated a JSO officer. Was that Caleb Underwood? Uh, I mean, this is a review that simply is really, that happens, you know, in, in many cases. But in this case, we decided to stand up and let the community know. Thank you.